If you're thinking about installing new glow plugs in your turbo diesel Mercedes, it's a fairly easy job, but before you even consider this, stop. There's something else you have to do. This pencil glow plug is inserted into the hole in the cylinder head. It goes right into the pre-chamber, and this pre-chamber is very prone to coking or carboning. Excess carbon in the pre-chamber is the number one cause of premature glow plug failure in these older diesels. I offer a special reamer on my website which will allow you to go into the pre-chamber and ream out any excess carbon. This procedure should be done every time you change your glow plugs and even more often if you're running vegetable oil fuel. The procedure is straightforward once you have your glow plugs removed. I prefer to use a number 12 millimeter ratcheting box end wrench and after you insert the reamer into the hole you may find it very difficult to get started. If that's the case, it's likely there's excess carbon in the pre-chamber. So push hard in on the head of the reamer as you turn it, and eventually you can feel it start to cut into the carbon. Continue to ratchet all the way in until it stops. At that point, you can remove the reamer and inspect for excess carbon buildup. Don't be too concerned about any excess carbon left in the pre-chambers. That's going to burn out when you start up the engine. Once the holes are clean, you can go ahead and insert the new glow plugs and tighten them down. I recommend that reaming be done every time you change your glow plugs and even more often if you're running vegetable oil fuel. There's one thing I forgot to mention about changing glow plugs. Once you get the injector lines off, it's probably a good idea to look at these injector return lines and change them if there's any sign of deterioration. Need a reamer? We offer on our website a complete kit which includes this reamer, four or five new glow plugs, and injector return line.